Ethereum is more decentralized than Bitcoin. Now, if you disagree with me, I hear you, but can you watch my video and reply to the things I say rather than just regurgitating the same stuff that everybody says that I've heard before? Because I have some reasons that I don't hear anyone else talk about. I will talk about proof of stake versus mining. I'll put, put that at the end because everybody talks about that already and it's a little boring. Um, and I agree that so where I agree that they're both decentralized enough is Bitcoin and Ethereum have a lot of independent nodes. And if you just want to take your Ether or take your Bitcoin and hold it in your wallet, that is safe and can't be stolen. And, and it, it, this network is decentralized enough so that you have that. But where Ethereum wins is that you can also do other things. So my argument is that Real decentralization means you have a whole economy or a whole, you can sort of live a full life with your, with your value in a decentralized way. So for example, if you want to protect some gains and keep some of your money in a stable coins, you know, a dollar asset, a stable asset on Ethereum, you can go to a decentralized exchange, right? You can go to Uniswap, which is decentralized on the Ethereum platform, and you can trade your Ethereum for a stable coin, right? For DAI, which is also decentralized. And now you're protecting your wealth. On, on Bitcoin, if you want to protect that, those gains into a stable coin, you got to go to a centralized exchange. If you want to trade it for anything, you're going to a centralized exchange. So the ecosystem is less decentralized. What else can we do? If, um, if you want to do any investing, and listen, I think Bitcoin has been a, a wonderful investment for many years. Ethereum also doing quite well. Uh, but sometimes we want to diversify. Maybe there'll be other things, good investments in the world. And if you want to do other types of investing, invest in other assets and, or, you know, uh, risk tokens, you want to call it, whatever, or you want to do other things, hedging and options and whatever. There's a million type of investment things you can do. You can do all of that on Ethereum on decentralized applications. If you want to do anything with your Bitcoin uh, other or have other types of investments other than just holding Bitcoin, there's nothing you can do in a decentralized way on the Bitcoin network. Also... If you just, you know, listen, why do we, why do we have money? Just so we can put it, hide it? No, you want to have some fun. If you want to have any fun, you want to get your NFT and your profile picture and you, you want to uh, play some games or gamble or whatever the hell you want to do. Again, in a decentralized way that cannot be stopped, can't be ripped off and diluted. You can do all that on Ethereum. You can't do that on Bitcoin. Right? So again, my point is not that Bitcoin is not decentralized and not that the Ether token is more decentralized. It's that we're talking about a platform, an ecosystem, and which one is more decentralized. And Ethereum has a whole eco decentralized ecosystem. You can almost live in a decentralized way. Whereas in Bitcoin, other than holding it, it's not decentralized. Um, and, you know, and, and making payments and doing things, you know, they're both working on that. I won't even go there. Um, whatever. Now let's talk about proof of stake. And, and, you know, a lot of people have talked about this, but I'll, I'll mention it as well. You know, we'll see how the things play out in the future. You know, it's, it's, um, you know, when I talk about proof of stake though, really what we're talking about is Ethereum's implementation. it implementation of proof of stake. There's a lot of proof of stakes out there and some of them are horrible and not decentralized or whatever. But Ethereum's implementation of proof of stake that is hopefully launching soon with ETH 2.0 is more decentralized than proof of work, I believe. Now, hey, I understand not everything, it's not a done deal yet, but to me, we can already see like, how many people do I know? How many people do you know 
that are like, that are staking Ethereum. It's like, it's easy and it's going to get easier. The roadmap is that just on a laptop, you can, you know, run your node and be staking Ethereum. On Bitcoin, do you know anyone who's a miner right now? And if you know them, it's a giant corporation, a giant system um, uh, for mining. And, you know, to be honest, I, I'm not really worried about centralization with Bitcoin mining. Certainly not at this point. Um, because, yes, you have to be some giant corporation focused on it. But there's a lot of them all over the world. And the China ban really helped diversify it further. So I'm not worried about proof of work on Bitcoin centralizing, actually. But I'm also not worried about it centralizing on Ethereum. And I, yes, I've heard the thing of that, well, it doesn't cost, you know, it's almost like there's a double argument on that. I say, well, one reason it'll decentralize is because it's so easy to get into mining. Anyone can just put it on their laptop. I don't know if at launch day, if it's going to be that easy, anyone can put it on a laptop. But it's easy enough that people can go and uh, and stake. So it's easy to join. That's good for decentralization because more people can pile in. Other people say, well, because it's so easy, what do they say? It's because it's so, or that once you're in, oh, because you don't have to pay to keep maintaining, like you have to do with mining, that once you get in, you never have to spend money and so the rich get richer. I don't think that's true at all because if you're staking, I mean, listen, you're, you're, it's nice. You're earning whatever, you know, it's probably going to be three to 4%. I'm not sure that's getting rich, right? That's, you're maintaining a, a position. The rich are going to be the people who pick the new awesome applications, invest early, and it goes up 10x. I don't think it's going to be the stakers get rich. Um... So I, I, I don't buy that argument and, you know, well, listen, it's going to launch and we'll see where things are going, right? Uh, my guess, my bet, and it's not a no-brainer. So everybody, who do you think you emphatically say that proof of stake is going to centralize? You don't know what you're talking about. You're a little cocky. Check your hubris. And if we want to make a bet, I, I, I bet proof of stake actually becomes more decentralized than proof of work, Okay. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. If I, you know, any of you Bitcoin maximalists, feel free to share this to some crazy Bitcoin maxi, uh, you know, group. And they can all yell at me and hate me. I do enjoy listening to idiots get mad at me. So uh, feel free to do that. And I look forward to learning. You know, hey, this is, uh, I, I, I'm here to learn, my friends. Thank you. Let me know what you think.